Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, it was a day when everyone decided to respond to William Samai Ruto and challenge him. We saw the LSK, they came out very boldly and strong. We saw Raila Odinga coming out so strongly, issuing a stunning warning. And now CJ Madakome coming out to rubbish William Ruto's statement in terms of allegation of complaint against the judiciary. And uh, Kome is challenging William Ruto that gone are the days when judiciary officers were haunted out of office through uh, name calling. Unakuja tuna sema fulani hako corrupt alafu mambo inaenda inaenda mnatoa yeko office. Iyo ilikuwa inafanyika wakati wa mzee Moi na wale wengine. Kibaki had a privilege to do the same, but he did not. Now Ruto is here taking us back to those era where even Kibaki did not do, despite the fact that he was operating under that old constitution. Uhuru operated under the new constitution. Mambo yalikuwa ni tofauti. Now Ruto coming in, he wanted to operate using the Moi constitution, which is a big no. So Kome is saying what? Just produce the evidence against the allegation you are making on any judicial officer or a judge. And the law will take its course. They will process that case to the end. They are ready to deal with this. So she is really challenging Ruto to produce evidence against any judge or judicial officer. And from there, they will take action. But if you look at any of this mayor, start, mayor allegation that he's making, that is just noise and he's encouraging judges to continue discharging their duty without any fear or favor. We are ready to process any complaint against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or in any other acts of misconduct and state that we abhor corruption in all its formats, be it bribery, which is indeed a crime. Such complaints must be launched and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Days are gone when officers were hounded, judges, judicial officers were hounded out of office through name calling and naming. Let us remain true to the constitutional instruction that the discharge of judicial duties shall be subject only to the constitution and the law and not the direction or control of any person or authority. And we should do this without any fear of intimidation and without any fear. Now we are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. Amasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Judicial duties shall be subject only to the constitution and the law. See your mambo megine. That is CJ Mother Kome. <laughs> a person who led in the process of making a root of presidency when the matter was put under her desk at the judiciary. You remember the presidential petition 2023-2022? Now she's coming out bold after, in fact, this is the first time she's facing the camera to tell off Ruto. Remember, even her statement was written. That means it is a strong statement. It is a decision that they have made. It is something that she's serious about. How could you have to maneno? It was a written statement. Very clear. Judicial duties shall be subject only to the constitution 
and the law. Ruto is not talking about our constitution. He is talking about the sword. But you cannot mention judiciary without talking about the constitution and the law. But you talk about the sword. And that means that you want to micromanage the constitution so that they can make ruling in your direction. Kome is clear. It is constitution and the law. Not in direction of control by any person. Any person means including William Ruto. When they make a ruling that is not in his favor, he go quick and I can be and be a walk street and I eat a sujee a campaign rally tiari and he is now intimidating judges using that platform of campaign. So if Ruto was serious about corruption in the court and he wanted Kenyans to believe in him, he wanted us to trust him. He just need to do one thing. A favor to himself. Produce evidence. This evidence should be produced in the court of law. Then let Judicial Service Commission take the course and deal with the matter to an individual level of any judge that will produce evidence against him or her. If Ruto will not do this, then I'm telling you, Ruto is going to remain an embarrassment not to Kenya, but an embarrassment to himself. <laughs> because then he's, he's going to, you know, bring a perception of a liar. Remember, he's a president. Already, we Kenya and we are not president. We are not going to be a president. But now, we are going to be a president. We um, evidence. Eh? It will portray him in bad moods. He will be an embarrassment to himself, but not an embarrassment to Kenya or Kenyans. Happened at Akwa Mifikia. And that's where he's heading to. This is one of the ways to pin down William Ruto. As he make noise toward the judiciary, as he make threats, Please produce evidence. Kama hauna wachana na hayo mambo. Hauna evidence wachana na hiyo kelele. So Ruto, the ball is in his hands. Let him play the game. And playing the game means come victorious by producing evidence and name the specific judge that you are talking about in terms of corruption. Ndiyo umetuambia judiciary hiko na corruption nyingi hatukatai. Nisawa. Lakini la msingi, bring that evidence. Now you will know that Ruto statement, there are mere hot air statements. Not based on law, not based on evidence, but just because he has a plan that he wants to force on Kenyans without necessarily following the law. He has become a man of either his way or the highway. Not the people's way. That's William Ruto for you. He wants to disregard the constitution and the rule of law. He wants to force judges to make ruling that is going to favor him even if it is against the law. So CJ Kome is telling him that we will not go into that direction. Listen here. Just bring evidence. Gone are the days when you do the name calling and force someone to get out of office. Work with Yari to process any complaint against a judge or a judicial service a judicial officer implicated in a corruption. Waneta hiyo mambo. So Ruto and Gashaga should stop making noise. 
And if you see, you see these people coming to the rally to make noise about law, judges, just know that they don't have evidence. But if they have evidence, that noise will not be made in the street. It will be made in the court where lawyers will be arguing with other lawyers do that case in the court of law. So this war has been advanced. We are seeing everyone is coming in and Ruto is going to remain alone. He will end up being exposed so badly. Law Society of Kenya, they are here. Raila Odinga and Azimio Fraternity, they are here. Mother Kome now is coming out strongly. Ruto amebaki peke yake. Na sasa, ile kazi kubwa akonayo is to bring evidence. Without evidence, stop noise 